Hey guys, it's Michelle and welcome back to my channel, Mickey Lee Creates. And in today's video, it's a grocery haul, um, a small one. It was like $52 when I used um, Walmart grocery pickup, $52. I did go back today because um, I really wasn't feeling that great yesterday and I didn't feel like running inside the store, but I ran back today to get pumpkins and mums because I'm gonna start decorating my front porch. That was about $52. I grabbed some extra things. So this week's haul was probably a little over $100. Yeah, about a little over $100. So that's still on the low side, um, which is fine because I did stock up last week and spent $150. So this is about $100. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, like, subscribe, comment, and let's jump on in. All right, so the meals of the week for October 11th through October 17th. On Monday, we're gonna have pepperoni pizza chicken with mashed potatoes and salad. You'll see how I make that. It's basically um, spaghetti, not spaghetti sauce, pizza sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and I bake it in the oven. Tuesday, shrimp salad sandwiches with um, pasta. Beef stew with bread on Wednesday. Thursday is tortellini with salad and bread. I use just a meat sauce, mix it in with the tortellini and some shredded cheese. Friday is dinner out. Saturday, we're gonna do burgers with macaroni and cheese. And Sunday is meatloaf with mashed potatoes and some type of veg. I know I keep throwing this in this rotation. That's because for some reason, I just have not been making it. I don't know why, but I haven't. So we're gonna try to make it again today, <laughs> this week, this coming week. All right, let's get into the haul. Starting with breads, I did pick up some more of the brioche buns. This was something I had to run inside for. They were actually, when I went to pick up yesterday, they were out, so they didn't have it. I went in this morning and looked and they ended up having some. Who knows, they may, may have restocked overnight, but I picked up some brioche buns to go with the burgers. Also, one of the bread that I was gonna use for my cowboy casserole, or the crock pot cowboy one which i'm making tonight it went bad I, I it was left too long and it went bad so i did pick up this italian loaf to use for that for the beef stew we should have enough of this left over to use for the beef stew also so picked up those i went ahead and grabbed another thing of plain bagels just to have here i've never tried these it's david's deli so we'll see how good they are but there's five of them in there so we'll see how that goes I picked up a box of rotini, and that's to make the pasta for the shrimp salad sandwiches. Another thing of Chick-fil-A sauce, because I like to have extra here. Um, I did order the Hunt's tomato sauce. However, I ordered the Great Value brand, thought I was getting the big one. I guess I didn't. I, I need to start reading. But I ended up getting, I guess, the small one. They didn't have the Great Value, so they replaced it with these four little Hunt's tomato sauce so my next haul I will make sure I get the bigger one uh, or some ham steak and that is to go with the pasta because it's the pasta that I've made before with the um, Ruby Tuesday copycat pasta so it's the I needed ham for that and I, don't, I didn't have any actually I did end up having some in the refrigerator I just saw but this freezes well so I'll just freeze it I picked up more kielbasa because I like to have it here. Some more just American cheese. A cucumber to go with my salad. I have carrots, so I didn't need that. And over here, I got um, another thing of chicken. I don't know how much this one was. Let me see if I can. This one was $9.75, which isn't bad because some of they had been going up that is keeping within the range of what I usually pay um, I ended up getting some peanut butter oops peanut butter um, Snyder's filled pieces pretzels my husband wanted some and then some more Doritos in the party size I did go in to get this because I didn't I didn't put it on my list but when I was in there I got some oatmeal cream pies they are Bradley's favorite so I bought two boxes of those non-food items i bought some band-aids just to have downstairs i didn't have any so just in case any accidents happen in the kitchen we needed some more hydrogen peroxide i needed some cotton balls good gracious i can think of what it was so i ended up getting though just the equate jumbo cotton balls under count and then to have down in the basement for me and my craft area i needed a new 
like little utility knife. I call it a box cutter, but I got one of those. I did look for a exacto knife they were completely out so i'll just have to wait till next time and get one now on to my front porch i did grab four pumpkins so i grabbed one here these were pretty and they were like four dollars so it was not a bad they're good size for four dollars and three more on the ground here and then i have bought three moms and these again were like 484 a piece they're gorgeous and i already have two that i bought earlier so that gives me five. If I have to go back, I'll go back and get some, but we'll start with this and then I'll go from there. But this finishes up the haul. Like I said, it was a very small one. It wasn't big at all, but I didn't really need to have a lot um, since I bought so much last week. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye. All right, so I did a closet makeover. There was one part of my closet that had wire shelves and I was absolutely sick and tired of looking at them. It was so cluttered, no matter how much I tried to organize it, it was cluttered, it didn't look nice. So a coworker and friend of mine ended up putting these little cubbies in her closet. So I was like, oh my God, that will work perfect in mine. And so I went ahead and, well, not I went ahead, we went ahead and bought them. And my husband so kindly put them together for me. Um, he was cussing. He was not happy. They weren't going together the way he wanted them to. But here's one of the finished products once he got it all together. So you see their little cubbies. And I ordered the baskets from Amazon. And I think they were like, it had 12 12 baskets i think for 20 dollars or 15 dollars. i can't remember i'm not really sure if i can find it i'll post it or i'll link it in the description box but here's the before it is just not necessarily the clothes are there and that's fine but just you can see i this is where i would hang my clothes to dry i didn't believe me this is a little messier than what it normally is but because i needed to redo it anyway but i mean just mixed matched bins it just didn't look very nice and I had like the Dollar Tree little cubbies and, you know, they're great for a dollar, but not if you're really trying to do something nice. So I'll go ahead and start cleaning out my closet. So once the shelves and everything is removed, my husband comes in and will go ahead and install them for me. 
he left the brackets on because that way it was easier for him. I'm, I don't know if he secured them to the bracket. You know what? I didn't ask. So I wasn't really sure. And I wasn't really paying too much attention. All right, here, they're both, here they are both in, and we just stack them one on top of each other to go all the way, or almost all the way to the wall. And guys, it looks so, it was so nice just having these in with the shelves gone because they're pushed back against the wall and it opens up the space. It might not be a, a lot, but it really does make a big difference. So here's the after. I mean, we still have all, of our, have all of our clothes, but the top shelves are completely empty except for the few things that I have up top that I needed up top. But everything else is gone. And that in itself opens up the space a ton. And here are all my baskets. And then I just bought Dollar Tree tags. And they were a dollar. I think they came in four in a pack and I needed six of them. And used my Cricut to go ahead and label all of them. And the jute string came with it. So that's it. That's the finished one. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.